Gaffer QPR tomorrow night. It's a quick turnaround. These games at the moment, it's coming at the end of a big period, hasn't it? Yeah, fast and furious. You know, the, the game Saturday, Tuesday. Um, you know, so far we've been able to give good performances in all the games. So, you know, dust ourselves down today. You know, regroup, go through a little bit of light training, and then hop on the train down there. I think what's probably been good in terms of the fitness work you've done with the players is that you've been relatively unchanged through this period. You've had like five games in 15 days, something like that, but you've I not think, made many changes. I think the lads who have actually been here in training are, are fitter than the ones who've come in, really, because you know they've not been, they've been inactive. They've not been playing many games for for the teams that they've been at, so you know it's a case, you know, like Ryan Clunk, Tony Cliff, I thought, look sharp, sadly. You know, that's his first game for a long while. Um, you know, but he's, he's worked hard in the training, and you know, and, and didn't look like he was short of ma match practice really Saturday. So it's a case of doing that for the other lads and building them up really, and getting them to the same levels as the, the players that they've been at the club. Nice to see Ryan coming in and do that. Cause I believe you got a couple of doubts for the for the game on Tuesday night. Uh, yeah, we'll just look at that in the next 15 minutes or so really, and and assess whether they travel or not. I think Jacobs is definitely out. You know, we'll just have a look at the others and see how they go. What have you made of QPR? Ian Holloway's come in, they've had some great results, some some strange ones, but they come off a good win at Birmingham last time out. Yeah, they're, they're a big club, aren't they? You know, I think at the start of the season they're another one that was probably expecting to be at the top end of the table. You know, they've invested heavily, you know, invested heavily again just, you know, in the last window. Um, bought some experience and, and, you know, they've got threats and they're certainly a big, powerful team. Um, so I'm not expecting another tough game. And it's always a compact atmosphere down there, fans close to the pitch. How do you assess those sort of challenges, if you like, you're playing in that sort of tight environment in comparison to like a big pitch at Wolves? You, you want those, you know, I think we've got to be, we've proved that we're adaptable to, to a lot of situations that come up, so we've got to be the same down there. We we kind of know what to expect from Ian Holloway's teams. Um, you know, we've got to be up for the battle, which we have been in the last few games, and, and take the game to them. You've got a little bit of momentum as well, the last two results results alone, momentum from that, but I suppose you know you've got to build that into quite a few games if, if you're going to get up the table. Yeah, I think that's been, you know, the, the, the frustrating bit, you know, we've we've had bits of momentum before, you know, and certainly a consistency over a long period, the level of performance, you know, and not generating the points we deserve, so, you know, that's vital in the coming weeks that we turn some of the, the good performances into into getting points. And clean sheets, uh, they're there for all to see. The defending's been good, as you say, even in the games where we've conceded the goals. But I, I suppose a similar performance to Wolves would, would be nice, <coughs> wouldn't it, where you could get that goal and, uh, and defend and get the three well, points. Obviously, that's Take ideal. That. That's, that's an ideal scenario, scoring that late you know, in, in a game. But, you know, you'll set up a scoring any times, really. We've just got to approach like we've approached every other game. and. And be hard to beat and work and and be resilient and then you know express ourselves and I think if you looked at the amount of situations we had on Saturday we were in good situations to cross the ball I think we've got 30 nearly 40 crosses into the box you know and, and not enough good ones in there it ends up with goal scoring opportunities that's an area that we've got to concentrate and do better on.